I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, Manny here with PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, each week I give you guys some new tips and strategies on marketing your business online, promoting your business offline or online, and helping you really position yourself as an expert in your industry. Today we're going to be talking about creating a sales page or lead capture page customized to your own brand with the Power Lead System. How I do it and kind of the things that I kind of utilize to uh, create graphics and you know set up my landing pages, that kind of stuff. So we'll make it real quick because it's actually about 621 right now and it's going to be going live in the next 40 minutes. So I got to finish this video while also getting it converted, edited and all that stuff. So it's going to be kind of difficult. It might be running a little late. We'll see. So the first thing I do when I log in is I'm going to hover under websites, go to web pages, copy web pages. We already have a, literally dozens of funnels in here, sales pages, lead capture pages that you can choose from that give you guys the ability to have a, you know complete customization capability. So as a Power Lead System member, you do get access to this type of setup. If you're a Lead Lightning member watching this training, do keep in mind that you're not going to get the ability to generate multiple sales pages. You get one sales page and you know you don't get to customize it. You can't change the video or anything like that. Um, so this is for really power lead system members um, or at least gold members uh, on the lead lightning side that would have access to be able to create landing pages, duplicate pages, that kind of stuff. So the first thing I do is I find a sales funnel that I like that is a efficient enough for me in my brand. So Let's say, for example, the one I like to use a lot is, let me double check here. This one's a good one, PLS capture page number six. So you see it's got a very simple, I like to look at the layout to see how it's going to function. So, you know, it's got some text here, nice big video. Uh, I like to use videos in my, in my uh, sales pages because those are very effective. Uh, one that I've had some great success with, let's see where it is. All right, looks like it's going to be over towards the top. Okay, one that looks like this. This one's actually a very good sales page for me. I'm, I like to have this little opt-in page on the right-hand side. For me, though, I like actually asking for phone numbers. Um, for me, my list is more based on quality at this point than quantity. You know, we have a limited number of emails that we can send out, so I don't want to fill it up with a bunch of just emails that aren't being opened. So I'd rather ask for the phone number, get real serious buyers, uh, obviously, it's not going to be the norm of what people do because a lot of them just want to focus on generating leads. But once you get to a point of over a thousand leads or a few thousand leads, you want to make sure that you're you're capturing quality versus just quantity. Now, uh, let's say for example, I want to grab this one and we're asking name, email, and phone number. So let's say any company lead capture page number four. Scroll all the way down, make a copy. First thing I'm going to do is name it. Let's say test page one, right? This right here is what's going to show up on the top bar at this point, you know, above the uh, the tab. So this one, you know, put what you want there. Um, then I choose my domain, uh, choose a campaign if I want to put an autoresponder campaign to it. Uh, then choose the success page. So if the web page is a survey, where do they go afterwards? So they got the default sales page. They've got another website, description, keywords, all kinds of different stuff. So let's say I just kept that simple there. I uh, just wanted to run a test page to kind of put it together. Uh, then I choose the background. Uh, a lot of different backgrounds. I was always adding a new one, so that's pretty cool. Always, you know, every month or so I'm seeing a new background or two. Uh, but let's say we just keep it the way it is. And we go into edit text. This is where you're allowed to really edit it how you want it. Change the text here. Change the text here. One of the things that I've done is put my own customized text and I put those as images. Here's the reason why. When I put an image text, okay, it's text that's formed into an actual image. It's static, it doesn't uh, reformat, so I can make that text the full size of, the, of the, the, the setup here from left to right, and it's not gonna change whether that comes from a mobile device or a desktop computer. The sizing will be exactly the same. And I can customize it a little bit more. I can add shadows, gradients, um, you know, in, in, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, whatever. I'll show you an example how I do it. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add this same exact text, but in a different style. I use PowerPoint. So let's open up this here. So let's say I'm going to use that same exact text, 
first thing you want to get rid of here. This works for really any PowerPoint. So let's say I want to use this exact text here. I'll go into PowerPoint, insert text box, copy and paste, right? Now obviously we want to keep it centered. Make it as big as possible. The bigger the better. Well, not bigger the better. I mean, it's to a certain point. You don't want to have it uh, take up a lot of space, but usually if you're just doing text, it's fine. So here is the exact verbiage, right? Now I can take this and choose a different font style. Let's say I want to use this font style. Uh, I can make it a little bigger. I want to usually get to the edge. So this way, the bigger the better, for me at least. Uh, so let's say I want to change it to red. I want to add in a shadow, right? Or I can even add in a reflection. Uh, I can make the shadow inside of the app to, or inside of the text to make it kind of embedded in there. Uh, let's say this is how I want it to look, okay? So I've got the text, obviously make it as small as possible. Then I'm going to right click and save as picture. Let's say I saved it right here into text from page one, I don't know, whatever. I usually save it as a uh, JPEG because for some reason there's always a, back, a black background when you try to upload images that are transparent. So let's say I just use it as a, uh, a JPEG, so this way there's a white background to it. So I see this, right? Let's go back here and add in this image. Browse server. My library. Upload. Choose file. Let's go into PLS tips, PLS tips. Where are you at? There you are. Text is right here. Now see how the text says you can, well, probably can't see too well. Let's see how the text is like big and white around. There's a lot of white space. What I usually do from there to get rid of that white space is right click, edit. So I'm going to open up paint. And then what I do is just crop out that remaining space. Crop it out, save it, exit. Now I got myself a decent sized picture. So I'll upload that. And any second now. All right, so now that I got this, 950 is probably a little too big. Let's try 800. Now, instead of my font looking like this, it looks like this. So it gives you a lot more pop to your, uh, to your sales pages. So that's uh, kind of the concept of what I do on the text side. Uh, videos are pretty simple to change these. I mean, all you have to do is you double click on this. Go back all the way here and just change out these 11 characters with every YouTube video that you have, right? So if you YouTube video, you just literally put it in there and uh, and just switch out that 11 characters. Every YouTube video has 11 characters before this question mark uh, at the video or right after the YouTube slash. It's going to be 11 weird characters. I, you know, numbers, underscores, letters, that kind of stuff. It's got to be exact, capitalized, lowercase, everything's got to be exact. So. Just switch out those 11 characters with your own video, and now you've got yourself whatever customized video you want. Again, change out the text here. Here's a key when doing a landing page, okay? The first page they land on, keep it short and keep it simple. Don't put too much content on that first page. Just want to have something very simple right off the bat to grab their attention, okay? Now if I was going to use that, I would just delete this part. Now I have this as my main text. I can do this one as well. Shrink this a little bit. It's two lines, right? Yep. Get the hiccups. Not good. All right. So same concept. Let's go ahead and go here. Agency. Make it a little bigger. Make it red. You can even do gradients on here to make it pop a little bit better. Put the shadow, put a reflection. I mean, that's what's cool about this is this gives you a lot of customization very easily. Add in outlines. I can glow. I can do a bevel to make it look different. I can rotate it. You know, all kinds of cool stuff just to make it just unique, right? Let's do something unique. Might as well. 
I'll do something like that. And you don't want that extra space. Well, it doesn't matter. You're going to crop it anyway. Save as picture. Text 3, whatever. JPEG. Save. Let's go in here and add in it as an image. We'll crop that again. Bear with me, guys. Oh, I didn't check on that. Somebody. Let's say that's 400. All right, looks like a little bit bigger. Probably 500. Make sure that you have this checked when you're changing the size, because if it's check, it's closed. That means this will update when this updates. If this is not closed, you can change this. That won't change, so it's going to stretch your image. Perfect. That's 500. So now you can get rid of this text. Bam, got ourselves a nice looking landing page with new text. And you can always add any pictures, videos, banners, that kind of stuff, the same exact way you would normally do it. Um, this is how I edit my videos, and not my videos, my, my landing pages. And it gets a lot of responses. As you can see, I've got over 10,000 leads that I've generated using the Power Lead system. It all because I just create landing pages that are unique, they're different, they're customized, they just have something that is going to. Um, really make it pop, you know, and I don't want to show you too many because they promote my own brand So I can't really go and do that But I want you to see how easy it is to do this You copy a page that's already built in the system that has a structured setup and just change out what you need to change Change the background of it or something like right. I can change this whole layout uh, Change background Let's say I want to use this one Now I've got myself a whole new setup Change the video around if you like. You know, that's a great way for you to be able to see um, different customization aspects. And definitely want to have your own email campaign, at least a three email campaign that would follow up with them. One on day one, one on day two, one on day three. Right off the bat, just to get your yourself acclimated to any new leads that you generate. This way, again, it's selling your business on autopilot. Don't have, you know, don't waste your time contacting every single one individually, one by one. If you're doing mass marketing, you know, it's just going to waste too much time on your hands. You want to automate as much as you can within your business. So this way you can do money making activities. You don't have to go and prospect and market yourself. Let the system do that for you, right? Um, another thing that I like to do is also like to make sure that, um, you know, I brand it with, you know, links that go to my social media my YouTube channels, anything that's going to give you extra exposure through your stuff. And just make it simple, things at the bottom. It doesn't have to be too fancy or anything like that. But always make sure it's linking into whatever it is that you're trying to do. Another cool thing I like to do is something like this, where at the bottom of it, you could say something like, uh, want to be able to create awesome sales funnels like this. So something really small. And then I always like to give it a gray background. It makes it kind of invisible a little bit. And then you can link that to your lead lightning system or your power lead system or whatever sales funnel that you're using to promote your business. So you can promote promoting your primary business at the time. And then in the same exact funnel, be able to promote your power lead system. Right or your lead lightning program or the free lead system, anything that's going to give you that extra exposure. Because might as well, I mean, you're going to drive traffic to it. Might as well get double exposure, right? So you can monetize your app in a lot of different or an app. You can monetize your your sales funnels in a lot of different ways. Um, customize them any way you would like to. Um, if you have JavaScripts and stuff like that, you can add those into the source codes. There's all kinds of different value that you can bring in with this business model, but the focus is making it simple to start off with, then create another landing page on the back end, the second side, that's going to give you that same branding, but explain more in detail about your business model, the promotion that you guys may be having, anything that's going to give you extra value. Okay, So I'm going to kind of keep it short with that one. I've only got about 20 minutes to get this edited, converted, and everything. So I want to make sure that if you guys have any questions, 
reach out to me directly. Let me know what it is that you need some help on and kind of see how you would structure it and see what, what makes sense for you, what makes sense for you know what you're doing and how you can generate more business and what you have. So uh, let me know how I can be of any assistance. Uh, I'll be in the Facebook group. I'll be in the chat. You guys can text me anything that you guys would need some help on, some assistance on. Just let me know and let me see if I can be a resource for you and, and point you the right direction. Maybe I've got a how-to video that's already done that. Maybe uh, you know I know somebody in the power lead system that could facilitate that need for you or whatnot. So um, let me know what I can do to help. But um, this I think would be the best form of you to be able to start your own structure. You know, utilize very inexpensive programs like PowerPoint and uh, and utilizing that way to just build out text graphics or build out custom graphics. Here's another cool thing that you can do. Let's say. Um, you have text with other stuff. Let's. I want to throw in some stuff here. Let's. Let's say you want to use this as as uh, just all in one image, right? Let me go and plot this out of the rotation, right? Let's say you wanted to make this one image. What you do is you would highlight this, put the control button, and click on anything else that you want to add into it. So let's say you want to make all this one image. I can go and right click that, save as picture, name it new picture one right or whatever you want to name it jpeg it and now it's all one image isn't that cool so you can combine images into an image so you can create a whole getty up or whatever and and then just highlight it all and right click save as picture now you got yourself a new picture so that's another tip I would recommend so you guys can really start giving yourself a unique brand out there, make yourself look different, and also not have to worry about it being you know, mobile formatted or anything like that to where it's going to look exactly the same regardless of the way you pull it up. And you're not going to get any shrinkage of text. So that's what's really going to help you guys out on that end. Um, that's what I use at least. So uh, if you guys have any questions, give me a call. Let me know. Uh, shoot me a text, shoot me an inbox, whatever it is that you guys see fit. Uh, but, uh, you know, let me know how I can be of assistance for you. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and try out some of these techniques. Let me know how it works. It's, you know, building out some of your sales pages and, you know, let me see what they come out with. So um, I'll see you guys next week. And, again, always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the town.